cooking squad. As you can see, we have some eggs, coconut oil, and milk, and a pan, which only means we're cooking eggs today. <laughs> and these eggs come from a local farm and they're cage free. The coconut oil, as you guys see, I'm showing you all here, is also organic and better than vegetable oil. I'll tell you guys more about that another time. But Lauren is going to actually be cooking her eggs today. So the first thing you want to do, and please, if you are going to cook as a child, make sure an adult is around. Lauren, you want to turn on the stove? We have a gas stove, so you might see a little flame. Here we go. All right. That's good. Now what you want to do is grab a spoon and you're going to scoop out some coconut oil and you're going to put it in the pot. Regular spoon is fine. I think this is a regular spoon. I'm just saying you don't need to get anything special or fancy. So while the pot is over there heating up a little bit. It's good. Uh, yeah, that should be good. You throw it in your pot. Hopefully it's a little warm so it'll melt. Just kind of let it, s yep, there Whoa, you go. Whoa, it looks like butter. <laughs> and you can kind of swirl it around. Swirl it around. There you go. Swirl it around. So as that melts, we'll come back in just a moment. All right, so as you can see, the coconut oil that was there has nicely melted. Fire is still going, nice and warm. So Lauren is gonna crack her egg in the pot. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle. You go, girl. Get. She says she wants two eggs, so grab one more and crack it in. Be careful, be careful. Just a little tip if you're cooking, you want to drop it as low as possible. Oh. <laughs> So, and if you guys look really closely, these eggs look a little bit different because as we said, these are cage-free, or I should say the eggs are from cage-free chickens that a local farmer right here in our state and in our neighborhood actually raised on his own. So that's why these look a little different than what you would get in your local grocery store. Lauren is grabbing some paper towel to kind of wipe her hands off, but you want to grab a spatula so you can flip your eggs when they start to, you know, cook more. Oh wait, this is our spatula. That's fine. So, so as you guys see, it is cooking. Lauren is going to get a little table salt. Let me see how much you have in your hand. That's a bit much. You literally need like one, oh, one no, or two pinches. So like, but that's wasting it. So yeah, <laughs> next time just throw it from the container. That's good. So she's got a little pinch of salt. And then she's going to add a little bit of black pepper. <laughs> Next time, do that over the sink. Lord Jesus. I know. Go ahead. A little bit of black pepper. I remember one time when I was younger, I poured too much black pepper. When you were younger? Yeah. Keep in mind, you guys, she's only 10. <laughs> flip it back? No, we're going to let it cook just a little bit longer before we flip it. All right, so as you guys see, the egg has cooked a little bit more, and Lauren is going to attempt a flip. <laughs> Woohoo! You go, girl. She got it. Now both <laughs> eggs are actually uh, fried together, as you can see as yeah. well. But she did good, I'd say. So how do you feel about your first flip? <laughs> So we're just going to let this side cook now as well. And we'll show you all the final product once it is complete. Okay. Okay, so I have some two fried eggs that I made with help of mine. And I got some Lance Captain Wafers, sandwich crackers, peanut butter, and honey. And so that's your breakfast this morning? Yes, it is. All right, you enjoy. So that was Lauren doing her first little bit of cooking with little help from mommy. You all enjoy, and what do we say at the end? 
please like, share, comment, hit the notification bell so you get notified when we post another video, and make sure you subscribe um, and the journey continues. Bye, Blink Squad. See you all later.